Hi, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to get our five main buttons in place. And these will then take us to an individual sub option. But I'm going to come here between begin group and end group. And I actually begin with a comment game options game button we're going to say if we'll open and close brackets we'll close that line off inside those brackets we're going to say GUI dot button open and close brackets again inside these brackets we're going to say of type new regt as always And we'll open and close brackets again. So I'm going to come inside this set of brackets. I'm going to enter here. And we're going to say 0, comma, 0, comma. And then I'll enter again. Now, this isn't the position on the screen. It's the position within the group, which we've defined at this position so let's come here and I'll just put out this position we'll come back to the first line we'll just say creates GUI game options button And then we'll come back down here, underscore, options button width, comma, options button height. At this point, I'm going to come after the first close brackets. I'm going to say comma and then enter. So we'll come back to this line and we'll say by these dimensions. We'll come back to the last line here. We're going to put the use little speech marks. We're going to say game options. And I'm just going to get rid of that closed line, that semicolon. Sorry, I'm going to open and close brackets. We'll just come to the comments, we'll say and print, so I'll put the speech marks in again, game options, and if pressed, we're going to come here, we're going to say, and let me have a look, we'll we haven't defined our audio source. We'll just call it audio source. Let's have a look. Options audio source. That's it. Oh, here we go. I actually, yes, put it here. Sorry about that. I couldn't remember if we defined it or not, or if so, where I put it. But there we go. Audio source dot play one shot. Open and close brackets, close the line off. We'll say main options button audio. Into the comments, we'll say then play. Main options audio clip. Come below main options active will now be false close that line off into the comments make main options false game options active will now become true close that line off make game options true 
I'm actually going to put equal to equal to true. So let's copy all the code we've just put in. We'll paste it in below and we'll go ahead and change what needs to be changed. So we'll change the comment to display. Now the height needs to be different. So we'll say options button height. Plus options button offset. <coughs> so options button height takes care of the position where this game button is plus a little bit of a gap which is our offset. Game options will now become display options. And of course, as always, just tidy up the code as you go. So let's have a look. This should be display options active. And we'll just change there. So we've just got to keep actually going with this now. So let's copy and paste the display button code. We'll paste that in. So the next one will be graphics. So options button height going to say times two plus and I'll put this in brackets options button offset again times two tidy up the code change that to graphics options So again, we just need to change this line. Graphics options active. And again, we'll copy and paste that code in again. So this time we want the audio options times two will now become three and here as well change that to audio options audio options active And the very last one, and this one, we can get rid of audio and options, and we're going to say credits. Now, if you're wondering why I'm including a credits button, it's because sometimes even with free models or assets which you may be using the actual creator will say you can have these and use them for free but you have to credit them for the work so this will allow you to do that actually in the game so again we'll just change three to four here Audio options will now just become credits. Credits options active.
And that's the five buttons. But while we're here, we can actually come below end group. We're going to create another button now. And I'll just come back up. I'm going to copy the game options game button. And we're going to paste this in. So this is going to be our return button. So let's put this into the comments here. Return to main menu. And let's go through and change what needs to be changed. So this one will be screen dot width divided by two minus again in the brackets options button width divided by two and I'll just break this line in half move that zero down so we've gone through how this sort of positioning works many times before so I don't think I should really need to go through it again but again always if you have any questions please leave them below screen dot height minus and just because this is outside the group let's options button height Plus the offset and we may have to come back and change that but that will do for now so let's have a look here and that's the reason why I've got the close brackets there. So we'll still keep that the same. The dimensions, I mean. Here we'll just say return to main menu. Of course, you may want to have a different size for this button to set it apart from the others but i'll leave that choice up to you but i'll just copy and paste that in fact i'll just type it in return to main menu now let me have a look did we create the return button audio clip and I'll put that into comments in fact we'll need main options let's just delete the game options main options active can still be false first thing i'm going to do though is i'm going to lock the cursor so cursor locked manager open and close close that line off into the comments and we'll just say we'll call that function let's paste that in there and we'll come here, we'll say scene, sorry that should be scene manager, dot load scene, and the scene we want to load, open and close brackets, close that line off, inside the brackets, little speech marks, and we want to return to the main underscore menu. And let's put that into the comments. So load main underscore menu scene. 
and we'll just save that off there and i think we'll leave it here for this lesson so as always i hope you enjoyed this video i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now